Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. And I'm Patrick from Tested and Tech Thing. And we are here today to review uh, a product you've been testing. Uh, these black boxes are for your cell phone. Cell phone boosters. Cell phone boosters. Cell phone boosters. Now, I've had some experience in the past trying to boost my cell phone signal with boosters of all different sizes and kinds. <laughs> and it, it seems like they never work. If it's a little gold piece of metal that goes in the back of your phone, it doesn't work. That's not a real cell phone. No. Booster. So uh, WeBoost, you may not be f familiar with the name, but uh, they're an offshoot of Wilson Electronics. Wilson Electronics has been around forever. They have a big name. They go way back and are super, super popular. If you're in a part of the country where they have like big diesel pickup trucks that travel mostly on gravel roads to ranches, you'll often see little antennas, especially for analog cell phone boosters. Mm. Obviously, analog cell phones are dead. But the idea that you can do, you know, there's, there's only so much power an antenna you can stuff inside a very, very slim phone. Right. So Wilson Electronics has been doing this forever. WeBoost is kind of a, a you know a, a, a more dedicated brand to cell phone boosters. And this is not a femto cell, right? So we saw AT&T and Verizon yeah. a while back where you, if you had uh, eth or Ethernet, if you had internet, you could plug in these like micro cell phone towers that would live inside your home. This is not, this will not, you know, if you have internet but no signal, this will not fix your problem. If you have a, a signal that cuts in and out, there's a good chance this could solve your problem. Okay, well let's talk about signal okay. itself, right? Like, because there's a difference between the different bands of signals. Right, I, it was interesting for me because this is an actual 4G phone. Like if you have an iPhone and you're on AT&T, like they told you a while back you had 4G, you didn't. That was just them. HSPA you know, plus. Yeah, they're lying. I think is the word I'd use. But the uh, you know the, when you, they got to LTE, it's an actual 4G technology. 4G, I know it's a marketing phrase. Don't go there. Or if you do, go down in the comments and then pass it around to all your friends. So they can argue and they get lots of views, and we all get to work next week. Um, I'm a little cranky about 4G arguments. But what was interesting LTE. for me, yeah, LTE. So what was interesting for me about LTE is signal levels, right? So you you put your phone into test mode, and instead of getting bars, which is a great article on bars that talks about why you you know the first bar is right, it basically means it works, and the next three or four bars basically tell you how bad the signal are. <laughs> um, so when I was looking at 4G, in the back of my house, like I get horrible, horrible uh, data speeds on 4G. You right. know, the phone calls don't cut out, but they're not great. Um, but that was like negative 102 to negative 104 dB on the meter, which from my memory on 3G would not work. Now, one of the things I've been told is that 4G is measured a little bit differently. And in my experience, places where 3G signals seem to be even more useless than usual, um, the, the 4G signal seems to work a little bit better, possibly because there's fewer clients on there, possibly because the technology is dealing with things like wall. Mm. And and, mm -hmm. and 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 you know. Uh, antennas and stuff. So but this is a 4G booster. This is a 4G and 3G booster. Okay. This will pretty much work with any, uh, basically any vendor, any carrier, any mobile uh, 4G or 3G technology that's here in the United States, WeBoost says. Uh, the, the trick with this, right, is this is the antenna and this is the base station. And if you're used to like, you know, most traditional cell phone boosters, like you put the antenna outside the house and then mm -hmm. you put, you know, the thing in the middle of the house. Well, here's the thing. One, this antenna is actually for all the cell phones in the house to communicate on. Got it. And what you need to do is you need to walk around your house, you know, you, you, you put your cell phone in test mode and you go to where you've, you basically search through your house till you find where the signal's strongest. Uh, and then you aim this towards that signal. <laughs> <laughs> not the antenna, right? So I, I got that wrong. Antenna goes inside. Up. Yeah. The antenna goes inside. Base and then, station goes outside. Yeah. And basically, so your base station, well, this base station says that this is all inside the oh, house. Inside, okay. You don't need to run an antenna outside your house. So you, you, you get this situated so... It's toward the window. It's toward the window. You put it in the part of the house where the signal's best, and then you put this towards the center of your house. Mm -hmm. um, the idea is you get about 1,500, 1,200 to 1,500 foot of coverage. Um, you want to get as much separation between these two. They're tethered. They're tethered. Yeah, there's about 25 feet of cable here, uh, coax cable here to connect them. You want to keep them as far apart as possible, and you want to keep them pointed in the same direction because if you do this, you end up creating this really awesome feedback. Oh, loop. it's right. taking the signal from here. That does. That's not what you want. So if we were using this in real life, this would be way over there. Um, and it was interesting to look at the performance. For example, in the, the Richmond warehouse that, that we work out of on Tech Thing, um, we have a tower in the middle of a railroad yard that's like 500 yards from our building. You can't use this. The signal's too strong. Oh, right? interesting. Um, okay. In my house, I was able to do a, a I think I want to say a 10 to 18 dB boost mm -hmm. in the antenna reading. Um, 
but it, 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 depending on what I was doing, it would either have a minimal effect, or in some cases, I did speed booth tests that went through our, our speed uh, tests of, of my, uh, my internet uh, download speed tripled. Wow. That's a big difference. Yeah. Um, your mileage is going to vary a lot. For example, while I got this to do a huge increase, uh, it works, right? It, it, you know, there's a big old antenna and it's got mm -hmm. an amplifier and it maxes out the power that you can use for it. Um, but, you know, if it's a house like mine where the entire house is made of horsehair plaster and there's like six walls, like the closest I could get this to the back bedroom, you know, there were still like five walls between me, four yeah. walls between me. It's not a big house. Um, so I wasn't getting much of a boost off of this. Now, can you extend this tether? I didn't think to ask. I probably should have. <laughs> and hopefully that's not something that degrades over distance too much, and yeah. then you can just wire that in. Now, once you have this set up, this is going to provide an ample range. Yes. Right? It's going to at least fill a room you know, this size, no problem. I mean, I was actually, like I said, in, in the best case scenarios, because I was using speed tests because it's, it's easier to run speed tests to do network, mm -hmm. you know, to, to do internet speed testing than it is to like call people over and over and be like, you know, is it cutting out? Does my voice sound better? Um, because that's even more subjective. Best case scenario, like 10 to 20 dB of boost in the, uh, you know, on the phone in terms of the strength reading uh, and tripling the download speeds. In the worst case scenarios, you know, uh, 10 plus dB boost in, in at the antenna or at the readings for the measurements and a minimal increase in speed. Uh, I try to do most of my testing in the wee small hours of the morning because nobody in my neighborhood is up at 4 a.m. using the internet and by 8 a.m. Uh, everyone is using the internet and bandwidth is governed yeah. by the neighbors using the cable modem or the, uh, using the internet. Um, it's an interesting product. It's not cheap. Yeah. Right? How much is um, it? $350. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. However, if you're in a place where your signal is marginal, um, that could be the difference between being able to use your cell phone at home and not being able to use your cell phone at is home. Is it carrier agnostic? It is carrier agnostic. You are supposed to contact your carrier to get approval from this before you start using it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's ever done that in the history of these. I'm sure someone has. Um, but the nice thing about it is that it will work with all of the phones and all of the services. And if you have multiple carriers and multiple phones in your house at the same time, they should all be able to comfortably use this. Awesome. So not cheap. Uh, will not fix no signal. But if your signal is marginal, like, you know, if you're on the edge of the city, if you're yeah. in a particularly horrible part of, you know, like here in San Francisco, uh, you know, there's the hills are full of rocks, and nobody has enough antennas to cover everything. Uh, uh, plenty of spots I can already think of. You could <laughs> definitely use this. And if you're going to look into it, you know, buy it from a place that you were, that has a good return policy, because yes. you'll know, you'll know in a couple of days whether it's going to work for you. Yeah, and WeBoost has some really, really good guidelines, both on the website and they're doing YouTube videos where they want people to buy this and be happy. Mm -hmm. They don't want people in hopeless situations to buy this and be angry. So spend some time looking at the website and reading uh, or watching. The videos and that will help you determine whether or not this will help you out. And thank you, Patrick, for bringing this in. You can, of My course, pleasure. find more of our product reviews on Tesla.com. You can find more of Patrick's videos at techthing.com. T-E-K-T-H-I-N-G.com. And Patrick and I'll see you next time. Bye.